everybody doing today? It's Thursday. It's a Thursday. You ready? Because I am. See? I got my pickaxe ready. I got my bread. I got my pockets cleaned out. So, whoop. Oh, and there's the back of my head. And there's the front of my head. And there's just the wall. Let's go. We're going to work on the basement of the basement again tonight. We're going to keep plugging away at this project. Right? Yeah. Let's see. Uh, yeah, we need bricks and cracked bricks. Knock, knock. Is anybody home? There's nobody home. I don't know what I... You know, I do know what I'm saying. I'm just being silly. Ooh. Ooh, I'm dangerous. Okay, well. I'm not really that dangerous. Oh, I took away my little... My little floppy floppy there. Oh, okay, that'll work. Parkour! Oh! I parkoured. I'm very proud of myself. So we'll just take out the block of parkour from. Right. There we go. Uh, let's see. We were kind of, sort of, taking this out. How was my day? Ooh, Shay, you distracted me and almost ran into the not-so-safety puddle for the narwhal. Thanks. That is not a safety puddle. That is not one you want to go splish splush and splooshing around. And I just happened to look down because I was reading my chat. And I looked up and BAM! There it was right in my face. I better not do that again. Okay. And there's the other not so safety. Well that safety puddle broke. Okay, well, we'll just run around that not-so-safety puddle. What's in here? Power one. Swiftable sneak. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. And we'll go ahead and take the chest, because the only thing in there is the dirt. We can throw the dirt away in a minute. Because we're going to collect chests to save, uh, uh, resources. Where did all my brick... There... I knew I had some. We're gonna get up close and in their faces there. Well, it was an okay day until I ran into the not so safety puddle. You know, it wasn't busy, it wasn't, well, I mean, it was busy, but it was a good busy because I got things done, you know? How was everybody else's day? Uh, let's see. Oh, there's some up there. Oh. Those just fell right down. There we go, there we go. Ta-da! Oh. oh, nope. See, I gotta remember, some of these have torches on them, because I look at them and I'm like, oh. Well, why did I leave that one? Well, that's why I left that one. I wanted to leave the lights on. Oh, yeah, no, I needed that one, because that one's a cracked one. Oh. Right. Oh. See, I was trying not to fall in the hole, so I looked at it and I went, don't fall in the hole, so I jumped. Yeah, that's been about the kind of week I've had. All right. Ooh, big long one here. So, a couple streams ago, we were talking about, like, scary Halloween stories. Does anybody have any? Because I'd like, I think that'd be fun to talk about tonight, right? Because we're taking apart an ancient city, and it still is a bit spooky, even though the warden doesn't live here. Still a bit spooky, if you ask me. Okay. Make sure I get these. Oh my goodness, there's a lot here. 
Um, I mean, I've got a few scary stories that would, you know, be scary, but I want to hear from you guys. You know, I didn't realize those could be cracked. Wait, does that one have a light bulb on it? It does. Oh, okay. I can take this one. These do not have light em ups on it. Oh. Well, that was right in my face. Wait. I think we missed a shushy, guys. Where's the shushy? I can't carve that with a book. Oh, no, there it is. I was like, I only have one pair of shears, but I do not. Let's move that up. that I saw a signal and I did not oh there it is wow that is a there's two of them three of them and a pool of lava how in the world they get down there how do I get down oh okay so I think that we can take these out with the shovel wow Okay. Well, I did mention something about putting lava in the basement of the basement, didn't I? But I think we're going to use the glow lichen. So we need to, that's another thing we need to look for tonight is more glow lichen. Okay, fix the issue. No more shushies. At least until we find the other ones we missed. Because I'm pretty sure that since those things spawn pretty much anywhere, we're missing some. But, we can be rest assured, they will not summon our good neighbor. Well, I'm glad everybody had a good day. Oh, here's a, there's a lot of, okay, there's a lot of bricks here. Okay. I turned off the lights by accident. Well, I mean, I could tell some scary stories, but I know you guys at some point kind of get tired of my voice, so hop on into the chat and say hi and let's hear them, because it's at that time of year again, right? Spooky, scary things like pumpkin spice lattes, those are scary. Those are just absolutely scary. Why am I doing that with a no wait, that's not nope, I don't want that. This. Okay. Maybe I should take some of that wool and tower up. Well first let's pick all this up and put it in our pocket because there well. what that was. Um, what else is scary stuff? Oh, you know what's scary? Is when somebody brings your breakfast in bed and you live alone. That's, that's scary. I mean, unless you, you know, you know who it is, and then it's not scary. But yeah. Oh, there we go. Uh, oh, I have the ultimate, ultimate scare, scariest thing. And turning off the lights is not it. You want to know what's the ultimate scariest thing? You ready? Stepping on cat vomit at 3 a.m. The whole house is asleep. You got to be quiet. And somewhere in the dark is just that big puddle of goo just waiting for your toes can't say nothing, you can't react, because then you'll wake up the whole house and everybody will be like, what's going on, what's your, that, and that's just, that's scary knowing that that's out there, 
Yeah, I had to stick my head in there to make sure that wasn't an opening. Uh-huh. Has anybody got anything scarier than that? Because I'd love to hear it. Or you're driving along the road really late at night. A car passes you, right? And you think, oh! Wow, that's strange, you know. And next thing you know, the car's not there anymore. But I guess that wouldn't be too scary because that's what happens with forward momentum in science and physics. Because the car drives away. Why did I do that? I needed my cheer. See, I'm scaring myself. I'm scaring myself and I can't remember what I put in which pocket. Oh. somebody told me that we could dye this wool. And if we could dye this wool, I think we've got enough to last us for a good little bit. Ah. There we go. And we're just going to keep taking it up in bunches and groups and stacks and parts on our pockets. What else is scary for Halloween? Because I got, told you guys all the eyeball spaghetti story. Um, does, oh! St funny stories from haunted houses. Does anybody go to a haunted house? Because um, I know that those are really popular. Or do you live in a haunted house? Because I know the house that I... <gasps> Whoop! Please tell me I have pocket space. I have pocket space. And we're going to take these right now. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, let's dig around for a minute because we got a couple extra stuff here. <gasps> There's another one. And I'm not talking scary like, you know, oh, my cabinet door closed, because that's just an old house settling. But the house that I live in is over a hundred years old. And it has its fair share of shenanigans. Trust me. You know. Because you've heard... You, You've heard me say on stream, you know, oh, there's a ghost in here in my office and it's flinging stuff around. Well, I'm not joking. I could be sitting here not even streaming or, you know, I could be working on my my business or whatever. And then all of a sudden, stuff just goes flying everywhere. And I just sit there and wait till it's done. And then I'm like, huh. Well, that's not my end. Lost her. Oh no, I didn't lose the elevator. I was just at the wrong elevator. Um, but yeah. Trust me. It's kind of scary, you know. But every now and again, I see it kind of flying, so I, I've learned to duck. And I quack a lot. Nope, go up. The opposite of down is up. Nope, look up. There we go. Alright, we gotta eat a snack before we go back to the house. What a, yeah, scary stories are really good. Um, but I want to hear experiences from my chat. You know, bangs and thumps and strange things that happen at night or, or even during the day. There we go. Boy, all of a sudden, that was difficult. So sorry. That was an unexpected explosion there. 
Oh, my nose hole. And I have two nose holes. I'm a typical narwhal. Okay, so now... <coughs> let's go back to the house. Oh, it's raining. Oh. When we came over here... That is definitely one thing that Minecraft needs. Umbrellas. That's kind of a heavy rain. Oh, no, wait a minute. Yeah. That's kind of a heavy rain. It looks heavier than usual. Shoot, I forgot to read, read the weather report today. I don't understand that. Now, let's look up. Yeah, I think in this spot we need to put some soul sand or something. We'll grab some on the way back down. Come on, a little more. Oh, good. Yeah, I may need to fill that out a little more so it's a little more narwhal safe. Oh, gray, dreary day. Well, what's everything's, what's everybody's favorite thing to do on Halloween? Bonfires, um... What else? What else do people does people do? I know, you know, trick or treats one, but you know that's usually for little kids and things like that. But what do grown ups do on Halloween? And yes, it is a kind of silly question since I'm a very old grown up. Um, but I'm also a stay-at-home parent, mom, person, Norwal. So my life is pretty much just filled with trick-or-treat. <laughs> what, are you two fighting? You're not... Now, make up. You see that? They were both facing the opposite direction. Like they was fighting. Boing, boing, boing. Hello, everybody! I'm home! Okay. Well, nobody was excited to see me. Ah, uh, guys, we got six diamonds. How many does that give us? Because I don't know, they're not in that, but they're there. Oh! <gasps> Whoa! Seventeen diamonds? Dude, we just hit the jackpot! Love it! Sorry, I had to finish up my coffee. Coffee and Minecraft. Ah, two things that actually go together. Okay. Oh, not books. Can I put... I have power. Does that... The, okay. The books that... The enchantments that go on bows. Can they go on regular bows? Or does it just crossbows? Because I really don't like crossbows. I honestly don't like them. They take, like way too much to, you know, do, and by the time I get done doing the whatever it is I'm doing, whatever it is has already eaten me. So I prefer bows because you- oh, sorry ladder three. Okay, well, I, I need the crafting table, please, pretty please, just for a minute. Oh good, I'll use it from way back here. Yeah, we need bone meal. Alrighty. That was very awkward. 
very, very awkward. Where did I put the bone meal? Alright, well, I guess I'll throw it in here. And we got a couple of blocks of tough, which I'm not too impressed with. Okay. Put the chest in here. Let's see. Oh, wait a minute. We got... Yeah, we let's finish cooking up this deep slate. Because I don't know when I'm going to need to make another shadow. Because I was thinking. We made that little corner archway. Why don't we make... Like, a little... Um... Well, here, that's cooking. Gotta let that cook down and stew. Okay. Ah, I just really like that. Yeah, that just looks nice. Um, let's see, to get up here, what could we do to get up there? Like a, an access point, I mean, a ladder? Uh, well, can't. All right, here's an age-old question because I'm age-old and I have questions. Let's run over here and get a wall. Stone brick wall, that works. And let's run upstairs really quickly was really quickly. I'm proud of myself. I ran really fast. And we have six ladders. That works. I want to build a wall and see if we can attach a ladder to it. Okay. We go so slow down those stairs, but we go up like with rockets. I don't... Maybe we should build a slide. That would be really cool if we had, like, blocks where we could build slides. Okay, now I'm just... Now I'm just being difficult. Okay, so... Okay, that... I think it has to be flat. You know what I mean? So let's move this out one block. Like that. No, it does not work. But that would have been a really cool idea. Wait a minute! Trap doors. <gasps> I'm trying to hit the... Hello. Apparently I'm going to do this now. Oh, that's much better. Yes. But what kind of trap doors? Let's go up and investigate our crafty area here. <gasps> I should put jelly or put slime under there. Okay. So, trap doors. We're just going to look it up because I want to see what looks kind of, uh, you know, that would fit. We have nothing. That's not right. Why is it not giving me trapdoors? I guess we have to go hunt and peck for them. Okay, no construction. I bet you anything they're in construction. Okay. We got fences and stairs and regular doors. Ah, trapdoors. Spruce trapdoor. That's the one with the little iron bar on it. Birch trap door. No, that's just too bright. A jungle trap door. Mm. Iron trap door. Bamboo. Cherry. Mangrove. No. Dark oak. What does that look like? Alright, let's grab a piece of some spruce. 
planks, dark oak log. And where's our spruce? Okay. Let's take a look at, let's see, spruce, one, two, three. Oh, that's more than enough right there. One, two. Okay. Now let's go down here to our tr spruce trap door. Okay, there's that. And that. Okay. Now let's see which one would fit better. And our stone brick wall can go up here. Because honestly, I think that would be really cool. There. Okay. Dark oak trap door. Oh, this is the one that looks like a chocolate bar. Well, this one looks fancy, right? Because it's got a little bit of the shading in the corner, but I always like these, the spruce doors, because they look very like old English, old things. Okay. So now let's, hold on. not how that's going to work. Let's go forward here. Oh, nope. the dogs are laughing at me. Alright, hold on, because the audio is saying things that it shouldn't be saying and doing. We're gonna have to grab a block for a block here. Cobblestone. Okay. So if we put this here and then this here. I mean, I didn't really want to do that. I wanted to be like really slick. Okay. Now let's add our ladder. Well, that doesn't work either. So, I guess we're stuck putting a ladder on stone. But I don't want to do that. I want to be really <laughs> unique, you know? What can ladders stick on other than stone and wood? Um, I don't understand. Yeah, it just opens. It doesn't... Can I stick it on the dog? No. Stick it on here. No. Okay, well, this is extremely unfortunate because I was so hoping, you know what I mean, that that would... But that's okay because now... Oh, we can't open that because we're crouching. But now we have an idea of yep I can tell today is just not a day well we gotta go up here and get more bamboo anyway nope open the floor ceiling and then hit our head in the process is it still raining wow that, well, that's a heck of a storm there Okay. Um, yeah, what else can ladders stick to? Or, I guess stick isn't the word, but, you know, build with. Because, okay, because that would be, like, really unique. 
I mean, I guess if that's all they you can build with them, it'll be fine. Because we could do... <gasps> Guys, you know what? We, we don't have to do a ladder. We can get unique and use a vine. that you pigeons I'm busy at the moment those are some vicious pig pigeons nope stop but yeah we could do some vines climbing up the wall are my pockets full no they're not this bamboo it's hard to line up so you hit, so you hit it <sighs> yeah uh, well I guess the only oops the only downfall of the vine is that it would ov eventually overtake the wall the more it spawns you know and I, I really don't want that to happen. Hmm. Okay, yes, my pocket is definitely full now. Oh, we can probably get rid of the ladder. Go around here. There we go. I don't think we can climb up skulk vines, but that would do the same thing. It would still take over the wall. You know, it would eventually grow. And if we get mobs down there, it would definitely grow. I guess we could build, like, a broken staircase? But that would be... Not weird, but kind of awkward. You know what I mean? Oh! I went up there and got all that bamboo. And we didn't need it. Well, that's okay. We can learn to live with it. Alright. Um. Let's ponder. Because I want to make sure that we preserve this before we remodel the wall. What would be... Well, now wait a minute here. Because there's a step and there's a step. So if we just keep... Instead of... Oops. Well, that was useless. We'll do that. Okay, I'm too far away. we could do this and carve it into the wall you know what about that mm -hmm. Let's see what this looks like up here out this here. I mean, I kind of remember. Oh, I know what it looks like, but let's see. We go this way. Back here. What could we put in here? Oh, we could hide our diamonds and stuff in here. Right? 
like our spare lapis and fancy stuff. Just make it look like, I don't know, something exploded. This could be our creeper of the creeper room. No, I'm kidding. We, we're not going to devote anything to the creepers. Not a thing. That looks a little better. Yeah. Okay, well. Hold on, where does this dirt go? Can we cut into it? We can. So we can replace this dirt like this or leave this kind of like a little shelf thing. Going up. Where does it go? Does it go? No, it does not go to the surface. So we could even put a trunk up here because it's got to be able to open. I was like, no, I know I made a bunch of pick. I'm not wearing a hat. Okay. Yep, see how well I notice things. I just don't notice things at all. And then I wonder why things, weird things happen. Uh, yep, because up there we could do that. Okay. This we bring, I don't know, should we bring it in one more so we got two step? No, I like it with the one step. The one step looks pretty good. Okay, but, but we should probably do, like, hide it. Can we hide it? I mean, a picture here would look pretty silly up there. Well, I guess not a picture up there, but we need to hide it somehow. Like, blend it in. Hmm. Well, let's go get some of this cooking. Because we need to make stone bricks and crack stone brick. Cobblestone. There we go. Uh-huh. Do we need to go make more moss stuff? No, I think we're alright for now. Uh, there's... Okay. Let's put the wood back and let's load up our pockets here. Nope, we're putting the wood back. We are not blocking things with cobblestone. Wood. Wood. Big woods. I think a thing of trapdoors would look too obvious. I mean, and a door would look too obvious. Boy, we gotta get creative. I mean, I guess we could do redstone, but we're not very good at redstone. Block. Yeah, so basically just stone and... Okay. Boy, that would have been so cool to be able to place it on a wall or the trap door or something, you know. I think that would have been really cool. Okay. Well, we can go ahead and get stuff... Um, done as far as like the bricks and whatnot. Um, oh, we need to crack stone bricks, cobblestone. There we go. Okay. There we are. Now we need. Wait, where did we? Did we put them up? I don't think we put them up here. I think... I put them in here. No. Okay, well we'll eventually find them when we least expect it. 
Oh, three stone. There we go. Now, we need a lot of regular stone here. Because we've got cracked bricks. Oh, put it in. Thank you. I did not want to jump in that pocket up there. Oh, okay. That's regular stone. That's what I was looking for. Boy, that, that little staircase. That's just... You know? There's got to be a really cool thing we can do. Something really awesome, you know? Because, like I said, we're not very good at redstone, or else we could make, like, a retractable thing. But that would mean sticky pistons and those tiny things, and I'm not very good at that. I mean, I guess we could make a stone button, and it... And that could retract. I don't know. This is where my professionalism kind of halts. Redstone. And that stinks. Because I really think a redstone thing, you know, that we can push the button and it goes in, would, would really, really be good. So, let me know if anybody has any ideas. Right? Something simple, though. Right? Because we're just learning, so... You know, I don't want to have to, the most complicated thing I can build is a bubble later. I just, it's a bubble later. <laughs> That's it. That's all I can build. Oh, I'm sitting here waiting on the rest of it to cook and I ran out of stuff cooking it. Okay. Uh, let's see. 15. And we got cracked stone bricks. Oh, we forgot to grab the moss, so we could make more mossy cobble. There we go. Yeah, I kind of like the... Well, we need some mossy stone bricks here. And mossy cobble. Yeah, there's got to be something unique. Um, <laughs> we could always build a giant dripstone thing and climb up the dripstone, but that would be silly because I know us, we'd fall and hit our head on said dripstone, and it wouldn't, it wouldn't work. Uh, Well, I guess what we can do is do what we do best. We'll build it as we as it comes. And if I start building, maybe we'll I'll think of something and you guys will think of something and we can put all of our brains together. But I'm sure who as smart as my chat is, they're going to come up with something a lot quicker than I am. Uh, hmm. Okay, wait. You know what? I don't have my scaffolding. <gasps> I bet wherever the scaffolding is, is wherever we put our other stuff here. Is it over here? No. It is not. I know there's nothing up there. Where? It was just yesterday. It wasn't like I, I hid it from myself. Well... Obviously, I did hide it from myself because I don't know where it went. Nope. Ugh. Is it in here? Okay, wait. I found it. Oh, goodness. There's our scaffolding. And our mossy stone bricks. More mossy stone bricks. Okay. And we'll grab our candles again. 
Well, let's go down here. And we'll go up this way. Right? And let's design the room itself. Oh. I mean, I guess designing it's not going to be that hard, but I really want the lights back on. Okay. There. But what's going to be hard is how to hide it. You know, because we've got... There it is. Couldn't find the mossy cobble. Um, yeah. It's just gonna be hard. Cause I'm not really a very good expert on things. Now where's just the regular bricks? Nope, that's mossy stone bricks. Stone, stone bricks. Okay, we don't need that temporarily. Oh yeah, that looks good. Nope, that's a torch. I wanted just a candle. Well, goodness, it looks like I'm about ready to lose on light stuff here. No, I wanted to switch that out. I got distracted by losing my armor that I forgot to switch the axe and the candle. Oh, I did. Well, that's okay. I was going to say, I did not bring my flint and steel, but that's a. We'll, we'll get that in a minute. Um, I think maybe back here we could just do like regular bricks. You know? And then the cracked bricks. I think that would be okay. You know? Yeah. Actually, no. Let's take this out and show that. I like that. Okay. No, I'm down here. You're up there. You want to talk to me? Come knock on the door. Okay. What do you guys think? Does that look okay? Or is it just... Maybe... Uh, hmm. Okay. Now let's put... Three candles there. piece of mossy there. Oh, we're almost out of candles. We're gonna have to go and grab some. Okay. I got I got it I got the candles way back there. And we could actually like replace some of this with that deep slate and give it a really dark dark look. But what do you guys think of this kind of pattern? It definitely matches the the other wall. So, you know It'll blend in better. Yeah, we gotta go grab some more candles. I almost jumped off of the steps. That's not that's not a wise move. Um, and up we go. Where are we at here? Seven stone. We need more regular stone, don't we? Oh, 23. 
wish one of these days we're going to have to get... How, okay, how do we change the color of the candles? Is it flowers? Because I know you... Okay, you use beeswax to make the candles. But I know you could change the color... If you have dye? Oh, I think we got some dye. Let's let's see what happens here. That is not the right container for the dye. This is the right container for the dye. We have Well we have lilac, orange, and red. I guess we could do some red candles. Should we give that a shot? Alright, let's go try it in the crafting bench and then we'll go, if this works, we'll go get more and we can dye them different colors. Um, what would that be under? Yeah, wait, I know we have 99 torches. 99 thing. Okay, those are banners and those are exploding. <sighs> would candles be under nature? Oh wait, no, we gotta make the red dye. Uh, might as well make it all. Okay. <gasps> okay, there's the candles. What do we need? Yellow candle. Well, now that's silly because you can dye... But yellow and red make orange. Okay. All right. Not gonna. Nope. Not gonna say a word. See, I thought we had some yellow candles. No, I did. Oh, we did. I used them. They were on that one lower shelf there. Yep. Okay. So let's put this stuff back. Oops, wrong one. Let's put this stuff back this way, and let's go grab a bunch of candles. Right? Because we can do, um, oh, I just filled up that trunk. Oh, goodness. Uh, let's grab these arrows and see if we got space over here. Yeah, yellow. That's, that's odd, you know? We'll go with it. Oh, the moss. Yeah. Okay. Let's put our food down. Oh, yeah, we might want to make some new clothes here. We're going to run around like the emperor with no clothes. It's just Okay, I definitely need a hat. And a shirt. And some boots. Oh wait, I gotta take them all. Uh. No, why did I get, I got into the stone cutter to repair. Wow. Wowie wow. Because I was already thinking, how can I do this and how can I do that? And I didn't need to repair a helmet because I didn't have a hat. There we go. Now we're going to eat a snack. Oh, we better check our fancy watch here. Okay, so it's just now morning. We're good. Oh, good, because we didn't close the door. We didn't close the floor ceiling. Oh, man. And you know what? still have that other ancient city, but we're not going to go there yet because he's still living there. We haven't been able to evict him just yet. <gasps> hey, the pig is back and he's swimming another round. That's too cool. Let's go a little faster. Well, yes. White candles are a color, but for some reason, the recipe called for yellow. And I thought white would have been easier, you know, 
because on the color palette, if you mix like red and yellow, you get orange. But for some reason here, you mix red and slightly yellow and you get red. I don't understand the logical correlation with that. But I guess that's just one of those things where you chalk it up and you say, that's Minecraft for you, and you just literally run with it. Like we're doing now. We're just running with it. To get more... And if we don't find, like, the... We'll look for the yellowish ones, because I think some red ones would look really nice. Um, oh, wait a minute. I have a crafty table down here. Let's look up... I think I got some squid ink. Let's see if the black ones... Because maybe it's different colors that you can dye different colors. Um, I think it was over... Yeah, here we go. Nope. It's all the yellowish color candle. Alrighty. Um, let me, yeah, we got a few torches and we got plenty of stuff to make more. Okay. Because once we start taking these candles out, guys, it's going to get kind of dark down here, and I really don't want it to get dark. You know? It, it sounds like I'm walking through a haunted house here. In a way, I kind of am, because at one point this was kind of haunted. Okay, torches. Lots and lots of torches. Apparently water is now a solid object you cannot see through. Okay, so we have those candles there. I guess maybe there's not a lot of candles like I thought. Well, we did have a good portion of them in our pocket. Thank you. I missed that completely. block over. Ah. A shovel? Maybe? We'll run with it. Nope. And then there's obviously some soul sand right there. Okay. Oh! And we missed a skelly head. Oh! <gasps> that skelly head can go in the basement of the basement, guys. You know that? Nope. You come here. Where? Where could, should we put him in that, our super secret room? Or... Huh. Where could we put him? Because honestly, if we put him somewhere in that super secret room, we could, you know... I swear, for a minute there, that looked like it was going to throw me a snowball. Okay. Hmm. All oh, these are faces blocks. I don't know. I don't know. Because, see, I think he'd look pretty good no matter where we put him, honestly. You know? And I know we've got at least maybe three or four more around here. Over here. So, I guess maybe for now we could put him in the super secret room. candles. Well, we could also grab these soul lanterns. Oh, oh, not safe. Well, it wasn't safe, even though I, I missed the super not safe puddle, but it still fell on my face. Okay, that must have 
jumped in my pocket. I wonder how many skelly heads are down here. Because I think that would help us figure out where to put him. You know? things are just not wanting to cooperate today to get in my pocket. My pocket isn't even full. I know what it is. We were talking about scary ghost stories earlier and now everything's scared. And they're like, we don't want to go home with you. You're, you're the haunted. You built a haunted house. We don't want that. Wait, what's that? Oh, that's one of those boat blocks. I was like, I was excited there for a minute. I was like, oh my gosh, it's something cool. Oh, oh, it's bouncing over there. Okay, see, we got distracted again by the soul lanterns. Because I came down here to get candles. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I know where there's candles. Wait, what was that? Oh, just regular block. Running past that real quick, it looked pink like iron. There are candles. Oh, wait. <gasps> Maybe we should block in this safety thing. We should have probably done it earlier, but, you know. Okay, hold on. That middle part, the, what you call it? I don't know what you call it, and yeah, we're going to block that in eventually, but there, okay, here I found a bunch, but no, there's, not where the big TV is, but there's a big long hallway over there where we found the amethyst stuff, that has like tons and tons and tons of candles. Almost, wait, there we go. I was almost too far away, but let's put a torch here. Yeah. Because, I, you know what, honestly, now that the warden's gone, I don't know if things can actually spawn down here. You know? And I don't really, really want to take that chance. See, that doesn't make no sense to me. Why on earth would they, like, put two pairs of the same pants together? Oh, hold on. We gotta have our pickaxe. Yeah, we'll put him up here. Let's see, they all look... Sometimes, see, look, those kind of have the or the yellowish orange glow to them. I mean, yeah, they're candles on a fire. But, and then when you break them up, they're white. And I was like, okay, great. You know, these are what I need. <gasps> these are what I need. Look at, yep, I was here. I can't get that just yet. Uh, okay, so basically, I guess the yellow ones, I can... Can I? No. The, when it just says candle, that's why it's yellow. It's, it's candle wax. Okay. Well, it is time for our walkabout break. And goodness knows, we all need one to rest our eyes, get something to drink, walk around, say hi to your friends, neighbors, and cohorts. And we'll be back here in a few minutes.
everybody enjoy their walkabout? I did. I got up and I pet my cat. I had to catch him first, but, you know, that was the fun part. That was my cardio for the day. Now, the other thing I forgot we should look for... Is that a cave up there? Anyway, don't get distracted. Here I go again. Um, is glow lichen. And yeah, it's kind of hard to see because we put torches. Nope, it isn't hard to see because there it is. <gasps> and there's some iron. Do we have that? Did we get rid of the dirt? We got rid of the dirt. Dang it. Oh, man. Okay. I don't know why I keep running that direction. I really don't. Okay, so we found some iron, some glow lichen. How many soul torches? Soul torches. Soul. Ten. Fifty-seven candles. Uh, I think, you know, to do the whole cave, we need more candles. And soul lanterns. Let's see, over here. Yeah, I know, I'm passing soul lanterns, but I'm looking for the... Are we up here? Watch this. Is... Yeah, I think we were up here. Yes. Well, these were the only places the candles were. Well, let's take a jog. Let's go this way, because I think... <gasps> that big hallway. That's where we need to go. That's what I was looking for. Right? Yeah, we got all the soul lanterns here. Opening. Because, like, over this way, I don't think there's any candles. And I think we've already got the soul lanterns. <gasps> oh, I was wrong. Okay. Ooh, where's my... Oh, my axe is down here. It's already in the right pocket. Oh. Okay. Stop playing bumper cars. Where's that? There it is. That went in my pocket. Yay! That one, that one knew its job. Okay, no candles. Just really weird Stonehenge. Not yet. Mm. Yeah, no soul lanterns. Where is that big long hole? Ah! Candles! Yes, I think I will. Okay. And I like how they're not all uniform. Like, some of them have two, some of them have one. The only ones I've seen are three maximum. I've not seen, you know, like four. Just three. But that's okay, because they're relatively easy to get. We're just gonna go straight through here, because, well, that's what we do. Look at all of these. Wait, let's check our pockets first. We're full. Um, oh! Guys, we got our boat back! I just realized. We can't, we, we took out that one chest and got our boat back. Woohoo! We got a boat back! Okay. Um, what is this? Oh, potion of regen. Oh, you know what? We can get rid of these face blocks. There are plenty of those around. Right now, we need candles. Yep, that's what we need. That's that's the direction we're headed in. Uh, okay. Too many holes. There we go. Okay, so we have one stack. We just gotta remember to put torches in this hallway. <laughs> Or else it's going to get very, very, very dark. Like this. 
I mean, I guess it's already kind of dark. So let's put that there. <laughs> Not taking any chances. Oh. oh, yeah, I took that one stuff out. Oh, there's four. Okay. It just, I guess it's rare or something. I don't know. I just don't, not really seen four. Nope, that's stone. Oh, my goodness. It's kind of hard to line it up without hitting the block underneath. I mean, it doesn't really matter, kind of. Because they float. But it's, you know, hard. See? There. Oh, yeah. We're going to have plenty of candles. We could pretty much light up an old fashioned Christmas tree if we had to. Not that we have to. Oh, nope. Thank you. That one was trying to escape. So was that one. I'm here. There you go. Now, do we have enough space in our pocket? Yes, we do. Okay. So I want to make sure that we can get all of these before we go, you know. Oh, missed a whole bunch of them here. That way we don't have to come back here for a while. Because basically what we need is the... Um, the cobble and those resources. And almost there. I can't believe. I See, I even said, let's go ahead and get rid of the dirt. We don't need it. And then I remembered glow lichen and the other stuff. And I was like, oh man. There's always that one thing, right, that I'm forgetting. But I forget a lot, so... Nope, nope. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I think down through here needs a torch. There. Oh, okay. So we cleaned out that hallway. Uh, put a torch there. Now let's see what we got here. Uh, two stacks of white candles. A stack and some odd of regular candles that we can dye. But we're going to have to go get more red and... I don't know, do we want red or black? We can decide in a little bit. We got amethyst shard. Yeah, we basically got everything back that we put in the um, chests. In the, you know, because we grabbed two of them. Twelve soul lanterns. Our boat. Should we pick up a few more soul lanterns, you think? Just, just to be on, I, yeah, let's pick up a couple of more, just to be on the safe side. And if we don't use them, it's okay, you know, we'll, I'm sure we can come up with something to use them for. Um, are you kidding me? Did that tower just, that tower just ate that soul lantern? Oh my gosh. What on? that jump in my pocket? I think so. I can't believe that. I am just... That is really dark right there. There we go. Yeah, this is really dark. See, from far away, torches look like candles to me. Yeah. Okay. Just a couple more. And then... Looks like we already got a few. <laughs> Which I know we did. Nope, not that. This. But... Are those more candles? Oh, cool. Bunch more candles, but we'll leave those for now, right? We're going to leave those for now. 
Oh, but we'll take these. And the bones. Because we will need bone meal. And I know one of these pants have... Yep, curse of binding. I knew it. I knew it. Those are just going to stay there. They're not even going to... Those white... Yep, I think these are white candles. Yep, okay. We could leave some of these, right? Oh. Oh, we don't have any room, though. Actually, let's get rid of this shovel, because it's almost gone. Potions don't stack. But these soul torches will come in handy if we ever get more iron. We can make more soul lanterns. We have 18 soul lanterns. But I think we're okay, because I think if we mix candles and the soul lanterns together... You know, I think we would definitely have enough for now. Let's go swimming in our swimming pool. Whee. Remember the struggle we had in this little spot? I think we died like three or four times just there. Now let's get two more so we have an even number of soul lanterns. You jump in my pocket. And this should give us 20. Or, there we go. Alrighty. Now let's go find our elevator. And we'll head back to the house. And our bubble elevator is... How did we miss lighting up this area? We'll need to bring some... That's kind of an odd square. Like, perfectly chiseled. Somehow I ended up in a hole. No. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to do this backwards. There we go. See, I got skills. Ride an elevator backwards. There we go. Why did I do that? I know why I did that. Because I'm silly. Look at this. Look at this. We got diable candles now. There. I fixed that. So now I'm no longer bumping into that. So excited I got a bunch of candles now and other cool stuff. Um, oh, nope, nope. Jump. There we go. Yeah. Now, do we want the red candles? Because I've got a little bit of black. Or do we want to go out and eventually get some black or, or mix it all up? Because like I said, I don't want to like overwhelm things with a lot of texture and color. But at the same time, I want it to kind of be unique, you know? So let me know in the chat or let me know what you think of, you know, whatever we figure. Come up, up. Oh boy, this is... Going down this ski slope's easier, but coming up is a little... I need a ski lift. That's what I need. A, <gasps> I forgot that piece of soul sand to make this a bubble vader. Right. Last time we came out, it was raining. Now, it's just nighttime. Alright, well, I guess we're going to take our chances. Because, I mean, we're going back to the house anyway. So, if we teleport there faster due to a necessary technical death, then that's the way we do it, right? That's how we roll. Whew. Maybe I shouldn't have cobblestone in my head. Maybe I should have a sword. I mean, I could probably do some damage with a, a bunch of cobble, but not as much as I could with a nice diamond sword. Ooh, let's go this way. That way we're not falling too hard. There we go. Nice little 
path of peace here. I would get that sheet, but we don't need it. We got wool. I know. I'm running away. These pigeons, man, are horrible. Okay. I forgot we got that big mango tree sitting over there, too. I completely forgot about that. I'm sure, though, if there's propagules on it, that they're... You know. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm going. Got away from the pigeon. I got away from the pigeons, guys. I did. Boing, boing. I really like that. It's like our own little trampoline, right? Okay. Ate our snack. And oh, I was like, here's our red dye. And I was trying to put it in a pocket, but the pocket was full. Okay, there is, we got some space. There and there. We can put the books down here where they go. Um, some room in here, salt torch. Oh, I do want the candles. We'll put the boat away. <gasps> Wait a minute. What's that new skulk block they came out with where you can put amethyst on top? Is it a shard or a block of amethyst? I don't know, but I think I have one. Because I, I want to say it's a shushy block. Um, here, let's just grab this. And we're looking for the red dye, which we have only four of. Okay. First, let's take a glance for that sh shushy. At least I'm pretty sure it's a shushy block. Calibrated skull. Oh! <gasps> Guys, we can make one. Should we do it to see what it looks like? Let's do it. Okay. Now, now we gotta find the candles, which were over. Aha! Four red candles. Okay. Let's look at the shushy block first because I'm really curious about that. <gasps> oh! What? Well, it don't do not. I mean, it just still shushies. Is it supposed to do something special? Or just kind of... Okay, I can hear it going blah, 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 you know. But it's not doing anything. I mean, I guess we could be grateful that it's not setting off a trumpet block and waking him up, but I thought maybe it... Well, something from over there set it off. Okay. Let's see what happens. Can I take it out and it pop back in my pocket or does it fall apart? It falls apart. Interesting. Oh, you know why it falls apart? Because I need silk touch to... to break it. Like, you know, like I would a regular shushy block. Yes, that's... that's why. That's exactly why. Okay, but I don't think it does anything spectacular, so we can put this back, you know, we don't, it's not going to serve a purpose with us just yet. So we'll put that in there. I got regular, oh, you know what, I got more soul torches over here. Um, wow. 
Yeah, this is truly, truly a junk drawer. And we got a treasure map, too, I think. I think that's what that is. All right, so... Let's... We got four red candles, and we don't really have any more dye. But let's save our candle, our dyeable candles, for later. And right now we can use the four red ones and the um, white ones. And Oh, I put the soul lanterns away. We kind of need the soul lanterns if we're going to go down here and do some building buildy. There's that. Where's my crack? Cracked. No, no, we don't want the soul torches. We want candles, so we need our flint and steel. Mossy stone bricks. Regular stone bricks. Let's throw this in here. And let's take our skeleton skull with us. Because I think he, he deserves a special spot in that little super secret room. Oh, man. I think that's where I'm going to put the red candles, too. I think that'd be pretty cool. Alright. Yeah, yes? You rang? Yeah, those are my toes. Okay. Well, I'm going to go work on the basement. Yes, I am. gonna work on that. Uh-uh. Alright. Okay. So, where, oh where could we put, how about right here? Okay, so let's take this out, right? What, what can we put here? How about mossy stone bricks? Yeah, that kind of flows with the mossy cobble. Okay. Now, let's... Where did I put him? There he is. Right here. <gasps> oh, I like that. Yes. Again, with the I'm not going to light stuff. <sighs> Ooh, should we put the red candles by the skull? I think, let's see what this looks like. <gasps> yes, I like that. Oh, I like that a lot. only like some of them, but not all of them. That just don't make no sense. Oh, that's dirt. I. Yeah, we should probably fix that because we can see part of it. And we don't want to see a lot of dirt. Okay. Piece of mossy back there. Mossy there. Yeah, we gotta switch all that out. So where is... Where, oh where... Stone bricks. That's what we're naming. Yep. We could probably even put some mossy cobble, you know, in spots. Well, that didn't matter there, but... Okay. And then maybe throw a little bit of... Wait, gotta get my mossy cobble here. Uh, there it is. Uh, cracked. We need crack. Where's my crack? There it is.
Yep. I like it. Let me know if you guys like it. I look so look forward to hearing from you guys. This has been so much fun. <gasps> Should we put the two red candles up here? Like swap this out, leave a hole there, and put two up there? like that idea. Uh, let's put some cracked. We don't have much cracked left. We got plenty of mossy though, so we can do that. We're gonna leave that one. And well, no, not my face. There. Yeah. Okay, we'll have to get the scaffolding to get up there, but... I kind of like this. Okay. Um... Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, that's dirt. I was like, what is that? Um, let's put... A little bit of this here. Mm. Like that. Yeah, because that flows a little bit, and then there's a block to break it up. Mm. Oh, guys, you know what we could do? We could do like a dark doorway right here. No, that wouldn't look right. Never mind. I know what I was thinking, but I... Yeah. Oh, last crack stone. Do I have any more? No, but I got regular stone. That looks, that looks good. But we're out of cracked stone, so let's run up here like sprinters. Now, do we have? I don't think I grabbed any regular stone, or yeah, mm, regular stone. Not here. Nope, that's andesite. Yeah, we were looking for andesite. Oh, there's regular stone. Okay. Remember we were looking for andesite the other day, and now we you now I, I find it everywhere. Because you know, uh, now I'm not. I don't want to repair and disenchant the stone. One of these days I'll learn how to click on the right tool. Okay. Um, yeah, we want cracked stone bricks. That's what we're looking for. Okay. I think charcoal and bamboo burn about the same. Because I got... I got a bunch of birch. And I remember reading, if I put... No, it goes up here, I think. Let's see what happens. Because I think if you burn the wood, it turns to charcoal. And I know you can make torches with charcoal, but I don't know if you can do it in a furnace. If you can, then we can go out and cut down a bunch of birch and oak trees as our utility wood and turn it into charcoal to either burn in the furnace or make torches with. And then we could use our coal, and this process will go a slight bit faster. All right, so let's take this out and put the charcoal in. Oh my gosh, it works in a furnace too. Would you look at that? Oh, yeah. And it seems to be burning pretty good. See, this is why I use utility wood. You know? Because then you can just... Yeah, I know. I have two brain cells tonight and they're both functioning. I'm proud of me. 
Okay. Crack stone bricks. That's what we need. And then that gave us three in that one. So let's take out this bamboozle and throw the charcoal in. There we go. Wow. That worked. That worked. Mm. Okay, so we got nine. We need a few more. We do need a few more cracked brick. Because I think the only, only thing we can make is like brick stairs because we need to be thinking of our stairs now because we're almost done with the room but if we could figure out some stairs I guess maybe we could do them different so they blend in a little bit Okay, all right, I have an idea. What if we were to take our stairs and push them back further into the wall and then take like a mossy cobblestone wall or something like that and then fill it in on the outside but make it look brokenish but dark with the deep slate so you can't see the stairs there. It would just look like a broken wall or something. I mean, that might take a little bit of planning, but I, th I think that would work. You know? Yeah, I'm sitting here formulating it in my head. Can everybody see what I'm thinking? No? I'm trying to share telepathically. Can you see what I'm thinking in my head? No? Well, okay. That's quite unfortunate. Oh, while we're... Wa oh, that's done. Wow, that, that cooked pretty fast. Okay. Where did our... There's our scaffolding. All right, let's go put this bamboo back because now that we can make, now that I've figured out the charcoal mechanic, don't need that or that. Actually, we need to cook down as much of this as we can because that is a huge wall. Yep, okay. And that looks like it might take a while. It is burning sl or cooking slow. So we may have to come up once in a while and check on it and stir it around a little bit. But yeah, what if we were to... See, I don't know. If we used a wall that's not, like, sticks, that sticks out a little bit, I think it would look a little wonky. But if we take it back a block and the stairs back a block, I think that might work. But then we could put the deep slate cobble like here and make it look like it's just an empty hallway, right? Like there's nothing there like that, like it caved in or something. You know what? We do need at least one more piece of glow lichen. Well, hold on. Let's run up here and take out this torch because I want to see what this looks like because that torch is kind of lighting it up a little. Hold on. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe one more piece of glow lichen back in this corner. What do you guys think? I don't think anything can... Sp well, no. I mean, nothing can spawn. Alright, let's go put our work light back. <gasps> Actually, wait a minute. Let's use our scaffolding and go up here, right, and hit our head. Oh, why are we, where's it at? Is 
gonna say, yeah, that's it right there. Okay. Oh, goodness. Let's take out this part here. And... Put... Cracked... Like this. There. We could design this part while we're just standing here, not really doing anything. Uh, yeah, let's put regular stone here. Wait, we need to throw some mossy cobble right there. That's what we need. Here, let's move these white candles up. There. Okay. Now, let's flint and steel. Okay. Whoops. I was getting ready to back up to see what that looked like, but we can't back up. We're going to fall. I don't want to fall. Mm. <gasps> oh, guys, that looks good. That looks really, really cool. I mean, let's let's grab our ice spy real quick. Well, forget the floating dirt cuz I didn't jump in my pocket, but look at that. And then Yeah. That kind of blends in. Mm-hmm. It's three. Uh-huh. I like it. There's no torch. It's just a, like a dark little ominous something or other. Mm. Yeah. I like this a whole lot. This is, like, really, really cool. Nope, nope. Wrong direction. I don't know. Do we think there's a... Oh, okay. I... That's... Is there something blocking it here? No. I'm just not aiming for the right block. There. I don't know. Is this too dark for anything to spawn? I mean... Maybe back here. Yeah, because a lot of those... No, I wanted the candle. Put that up there. This down here. There, that worked better. Maybe just one? I lost my flint and steel there. Come on. Okay, I guess you can't light just one candle? I don't know, because see, some of these I can light. I, and then others I can't. See? Those lit fine. The others lit fine. See? But these don't light. I don't understand. Maybe I gotta have, like, so many? Help me out here, chat. What am I missing? I don't know. I don't want to bring it out a block. You know? Yeah, you would think that. I'll bring maybe I'm not lined up with it enough so I lit my candles and then I set myself on fire 
But look, the doggone thing's lit. Let's not try that experiment again. Let's not, let's not try that again. That was, that was not, I needless to say, I nearly fell out of my chair because I was not expecting to set myself on fire. <sighs> yep, I still lit. Ouch. That was not a, that was not a big brain move. That was, that was a soggy brain move there. It's, it's, wow. I didn't even realize I, I gotta eat a snack now, cause, you know. Alright. Looks like we also may need some candles. I don't know, four, four candles seems an awful lot in here, don't it? Let's only do like, let's see if we can light two. Or did I break it? No, I didn't break it. Well, I broke it now. Well, good. Now I can't set myself on fire. Which... Alright, so let's work at swapping out this wall real quick. Wow. Seven months. I just don't... I believe it, though. Don't you guys believe it? I mean, honestly, I, I agree with whatever noise that was, you know? Oh my goodness, that was just, that was just pure shenanigans right there. That was not very professional. Um, let's see, regular stone bricks, let's start with those. Okay, or crack stone bricks, because it said stone bricks. I did. I started with stone bricks, and I moved them down, but I didn't do it right. <laughs> okay, so let's move to... Mm, we need some mossy cobble. Oh, no, we got mossy stone bricks right here. Yeah, we can put one there. 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 Okay. Now, let's throw in... We already got stone bricks. Now we should do the mossy cobble. In, like, the spots. Right? And then... We can put a set of candles here. And... Is that regular... there. Yeah. Le okay. Oh, but we gotta make a flint and steel. Can we... Yeah, we can. No, we can't. Oh, we need a... Oh, we need a flint. That's charcoal. <laughs> okay. Yep. I definitely short-circuited something on that. We have flint. It is over here with the pokey shooty things. There we go. Flint. One. Now let's try to make a flint and steel. There it is. Now it's saying, yes, you may. Now while we're up here, let's take a quick peek here. Oh, look at that. It gave us the regular stone. And it completely made charcoal. Nice. Well, now we can go put the coal in what's left of this mess. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Okay. And then move this up here. Run! Yeah, we gotta... This this room's looking really good. I like it. Yep, because right here's where we're gonna put the candles. Um, I think 
3 should work, because we don't want it, like, blindingly bright. But, alright, now here we go. Step back carefully. Okay. Ooh, I kind of like that with the tall opening there. What do you guys think? I like that. I think it looks pretty cool. So now the only thing that's left in this room is the floor. And... Hmm. Let's... I say we just do like regular stone bricks. And then, like, maybe mossy stone bricks? Nope. Nope, we don't want that. Okay. Where's my mossy? There. Nope, that's cracked. Ooh, I almost put that down. Hold on. Now I gotta find the mossy ones. Where to go? Oh! We only got two. Well, that didn't help. Ooh, no. I don't... I don't like that at all. That. I don't like this at all. Because, look, it blends in with this shelf. And I don't like that. I don't, yeah. I don't like that. Do you guys? So, let's take some of this out. Let's put in maybe some cracked stone bricks. And then... swap this one right here. Let's swap that one to the cracked. No, wrong thing. There we go. Okay. Yeah, because that's the pressure there. Okay. I guess we could throw a mossy cobble pattern right there. Yeah. Okay, so this one's got to be swapped out. We'll, we'll do a mossy cobble here. Oh my gosh. I don't want to go to the edge. Thank you. Okay. So now... Oh, I'm crouching. I was like, why can't I not get down? Alright, let's go look at this kind of from across the room a little. I mean, because granted we can't see like all the way inside. But we can kind of get a glance at it. Right? So, we, based on what we can see, what do you guys think? I mean, imagine that the outside edge is done. Maybe we could put a soul torch, like, maybe up in through here somewhere? No. No, no. We want that mystery, don't we? We definitely want that mystery in this dark spot. Yeah. Well. We got some decisions to make here. Because it's Thursday. And we have Subnautica tomorrow night. Um, because it's Friday. And we won't be back in this world until Monday. Unless I decide, again, you know, I wanted to stream, do a surprise stream last weekend, but it was... <sighs> IRL can sometimes just be rough. You make plans and then it just says, well, no, I'm not going to let you do that. You're going to run over here and do this, or you're going to go over here and do that. And that's exactly what you're going to do, whether you like it or not. But maybe, maybe this weekend I might pop back into this world for a few hours and we can work on this organize some chests you know maybe figure out a few things and get them done because I think that would be I think that would be pretty awesome myself 
Um, at some point, we're going to be done with this end of the room. And I'd like to start designing our bookshelves, right? Remember how we said we're going to put shelving, quote unquote, in the middle and then put the chests and the barrels and candles and things like that and actual bookshelves in the middle and uh, get, um, uh, you know, just make it really, really cool. So maybe we could start working on that because uh, that way we're designing as we go, right? We're not just doing one big thing and we're going to do it different. We're going to design it as we go. So maybe this weekend, crossing fingers, knocking on wood, we can get that done. Because, um, you know, I could always use a little extra Minecraft time. I don't know about you. But I like our skull. Like I always say, this isn't a goodbye, this is a see you later. And when we come back, it's going to be awesome. So be kind to yourself, be kind to others, eat your vegetables, take your vitamins, get plenty of sleep. Find some peace every day. And until we meet again, this is the Mama Narwhal.